The Gerald R. Ford class of aircraft carrier, the world's largest, can carry 75 military jets at a time. While these ships are massive, that's still an absurd amount of planes to cram onto one deck. For decades, naval aircraft have sported folding wings to be as space efficient as possible, but this tactic has never been employed in commercial aviation. That is, until now. Let me explain. This week, Boeing finally flew their 777X for the first time. Based on the incredibly successful 777 program that was launched in the 90s, this design refresh adds a host of technological advancements, including more fuel efficient engines and a larger carbon composite wing. This wing is the largest that Boeing has ever put on a commercial jet, extending 18 and a half feet longer than those of legacy 777s. Extending the span has a major advantage. It allows the plane to generate more lift. This makes the plane more efficient, while also decreasing both takeoff and landing speeds for use on shorter runways. However, making the plane this big has a key limitation. Airport gates are classified by the size plane that they can fit. With a wingspan that is 235 feet tip to tip, the 777X should require a gate that's ICAO code F compliant, the largest gate size there is. In comparison, legacy 777s fit into smaller size E gates. This poses a big potential problem for airlines. As it stands today, only 140 airports on earth have gates that are code F compliant. This represents only about 10% of all international airports. As such, airlines that might be hoping to swap their older 777s for these new jets won't be able to serve all the same routes. The only other plane that's ever needed code F gate size is the Airbus A380. With a wingspan that is 262 feet across, it is the largest wing ever featured on a commercial jet. While very impressive, its sheer size is a key reason why the A380 failed. Operators simply couldn't fly the jet into that many locations, and since the process of upscaling gates is slow and expensive, only a handful of airports ever did. Ultimately, the jet will always be operationally limited because of its massive wings. Boeing found a workaround for the 777X to avoid a similar pitfall. Engineers sacrificed some weight savings and some mechanical simplicity in order to include a hinge mechanism on the 777X wings, allowing them to fold up. When folded, the wingspan is 22 feet shorter, extending outwards only 213 feet end to end. This ensures that the plane remains code E compliant like previous generation 777s and can fit into all the same airport gates. It isn't until the plane reaches the runway threshold that the pilots fold the wingtips down, ensuring the plane takes full advantage of its massive span. At the end of the day, this solution allows for the best of both worlds, a larger, more efficient wing, and a plane that can seamlessly replace its predecessors without any operational constraints. And for those who are concerned about the pilots forgetting to unfurl the wings before takeoff, fret not. Boeing will include cockpit safety measures that will remind pilots to lower the tips prior to takeoff. Further, they will test the jet with the wingtips folded up to ensure the plane is airworthy in all configurations. This is part two of a two-part series commemorating the 777X's first flight. If you haven't seen part one yet, go ahead and click this link to check it out. And if you haven't done so yet, Click here to subscribe to Kobe Explains to make sure that you're up to date with all things aviation. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.